Lawmakers propose defunding Evergreen State amid protests. State lawmakers in Washington are fed up with the antics of Evergreen State College and plan to introduce legislation on Thursday to privatize the left-leaning institution. Led by Republican State Representative Matt Manweller, the legislators are considering revoking $24 million in state funding but vow that financial aid will still remain to students. Evergreen State students held a protest recently after a liberal professor questioned plans to ask white students and faculty to leave campus during a day of diversity programming. In previous years, non-white students and faculty members voluntarily left campus to attend diversity workshops while their white counterparts conducted their own programming on campus. But this year, the format was flipped in response to complaints that non-white students felt unwelcome on campus in the wake of Donald Trump's election. Despite the protesters' profanity-laced denunciations of him, school president George Bridges praised their passion and courage while capitulating to demands that they be excused from homework assignments for the duration of their demonstration. The bill, spearheaded by Republican State Representative Matt Manweller, will be introduced alongside a letter to the State Human Rights Commission requesting an investigation into potential civil rights violations on campus surrounding the incident. Manweller and his colleagues are also discussing the possibility of revoking $24 million in annual funding to Evergreen State College, but pledge that all students on campus will remain eligible for full financial aid from the state should this become law. These students and their administration are trying to undo the civil rights movement. They are trying to reinstitute a Jim Crow approach to education that Americans rejected over 50 years ago, Manweller said in an exclusive interview with Campus Reform. We must never go back to a segregated society, whether it be drinking fountains, buses, or school buildings. Manweller made clear that he places the blame for Evergreen's current situation squarely on the shoulders of the administrators, arguing that they created the conditions for controversy through their unquestioning embrace of social justice and failure to condemn the excesses of student protesters. It is incredibly frightening that the administration at Evergreen would tacitly support brown shirt tactics we have not seen since 1930s Germany. That they would allow students to threaten professors and other students based on their race is simply horrifying, Manweller continued. The administration bears direct responsibility for this situation. They hired the professors who have elevated the pseudoscience of social justice to the religious movement. Now all dissent is crushed by threats of violence or actual violence. Manweller told Campus Reform that he is optimistic about the bill's prospects, asserting that the internal contradictions of the leftist movement on campus will be its eventual undoing. Like all radical movements in history, this movement is also starting to turn on itself and eat its own, he said. Professor Weinstein is a liberal professor who teaches liberal values. Now these students have turned on him, like they have on so many other professors around the country. And now here are a few clips of how this president of Evergreen College was treated by the protesters. They demasculated and humiliated him at every turn. Take a look. Are y'all clear? Cool. Okay. Thank you. Um, hold on. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Don't do that! Don't point! Watch yourself. That's not appropriate. That's not good. You gotta put your hands down. You know you gotta put your hands down. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I! Yes, I! <laughs> begin our time together today by acknowledging the indigenous people of the Medicine Creek Treaty, whose land was stolen and on which the college now stands. I would like to acknowledge the Squaxin people, who are the traditional custodians of this land, and pay respect to elders past and present of the Squaxin Nation. I extend that respect to other Native people who are present. In response to the Native Student Alliance requests, <coughs> I commit in the future to opening every evergreen event with this acknowledgement. 
I would encourage you to check out the full video. I have a link to it in the description if you would like to watch it. It's about 10 minutes long and uh, lots of highlights, but I wanted to specifically take out the ones that were showing how he was treated, the president that is completely on their side, and they treat him like he's subhuman. So good. I'm glad that the funding for this school is being questioned. We're at least having a discussion on whether or not our tax dollars should go to fund this type of institution. Should we reward students who have behavior like this? I, for one, do not think so. But anyway, just needed to uh, bring that to your attention. So there's a, a little bit of a reason to celebrate. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all I got for today. I'll see you later.